Hi, my name is Dennis Sales, and I am here with uh, Joe Leahy. We're at his uh, the studio here in Warren, Rhode Island. What we're going to go ahead and do today is we're going to do the second part of the True Aim test. Uh, I went through it a, a few weeks ago, and now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, Joe through the testing. And Joe, really quickly, uh, talk to them about what you saw with my testing and what you're hoping that True Aim does for your driver. Uh, well, so with yours is that you uh, certain uh, sight lines and yep. certain things on the top of the club enabled you to make a little bit better contact. So what this is about is is almost like in essence like a, a putter having an alignment mark to help you get through the ball, get it hit a little more squarely and obviously put it in the fairway more often. So what I'm hoping for today is I've got a driver here that I've struggled with a little bit. Yep. Uh, it has no marks whatsoever on the top of the crown. Um, it's certainly long enough. I just don't know where it's going sometimes. So I want to see if uh, how that's going to work out for me. Awesome, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this uh, test going and we'll be back to you very shortly. All right, so now we went ahead and we finished up uh, Joe Leahy here doing the uh, True Aim test. Uh, one of the things I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to turn it over to Joe Leahy, and he's going to kind of talk a little bit about what he saw when he did the testing and how it affected, you know, his vision and squaring up the club and how it also affected his uh, his distance. Yeah, uh, again, uh, we're surprised by some of the optical uh, aim uh, Illusions, illusions. That the, the, decal the, the decal set up there. Some of them you look at and you're not thinking they're going to work as well, and all yeah. of a sudden it's like you look at the end result and it's like, wow, you you're surprised because again we're going by some raw data here. It's we're looking at the groupings of the balls and we're also looking at smash factor over here. So sometimes it's a little deceiving. One thing that you think is going to work out really well, all of a sudden it's like, wow, and then others that you don't think is going to work actually yeah. seems to suit your eye a little bit better, yeah. so it's a very, very interesting process. It is, and it's the same thing that I went through when I kind of did the testing myself, is I look at a couple of decals, and I'm like, oh, there's no way that I'm going to be able to hit it, exactly. and I hit it really well, and there were others that weren't that eye appealing, but the results were something that you could potentially kind of yeah. look at, so I mean, kind of, we felt the same way there, and again, we found, you know, a bunch of decals that allowed you to hit the ball a little bit more consistent. Exactly. And without your decal, which is pretty good. Sure. Um, you know, going through the test real quickly and looking at your results, do you think that you would have guessed that the decal that had scored the most amount of points that allowed you to hit it the closest to the center line was going to win? No, absolutely not. Same, that, that, same thing with me. I, I was expecting the uh, the one with kind of like the True Aim logo yeah. it seemed to really seem to fit my eye a little bit. I said, oh, this seems to look good. And when you're looking at the swing path, it. it your mind's processing it and looking like this should make sense for me. Yeah. You know, the results weren't bad, but it certainly wasn't the top rated uh, optic assistance here. Uh, the one, one of the ones I thought was probably going to be the least beneficial to me actually came out on top. So, yeah. so again, again, we've always talked about this, having an open mind, becoming to a fitting, uh, let the raw data kind of benef uh, let you know exactly. the direction in which you're going to go in. Uh, we think this is going to be really, really huge. Uh, we really suggest that you kind of give us a call so that we can go ahead and explain it into a little bit more detail. Sure. If you have a few more questions, um, we'll, we'll present our uh, contact information. You guys can go ahead and contact either one of us to go ahead and set up that fitting and get you hitting a little bit more fairways and ultimately shooting lower scores. Absolutely. Excellent. Oh, good. Okay. So we hope to see you, you uh, soon real quick here at the studio. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Thanks for taking the time.